Next, we'll see as we get past T minus 40 seconds for final checks of the vehicle. At T minus 40 seconds. That is amazing news. <laughs> amazing. Team working quickly through their issues on first and second stages. Watch countdown any moment now. And it's worth noting on Starship that Chamber pressure is nominal. Two point forty three seconds into the test flight of the inaugural Starship vehicle, tower clear to end a pitch over. The pulsing reports first stage engines nominal. What a sight from the ground cameras at Starbase. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. We throttle down and throttle back up. Going through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. A hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be set down of the first stage. Operates. We light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Beginning the flip for stage separation. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation, where Starship should separate from the super heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that Everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Uh, there. <laughs> and there, as you saw, as we promised, an exciting end to the Starship inaugural integrated test flight.
absolutely pumped to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase.